In this video we're going to look at converting fractions to decimals, including some with recurring decimals. And um, you know, for some of them you probably just know what the answers are anyway. So you, like one quarter you just know it's 0.25, a tenth is 0.1. Uh, depending on how many of these you've learnt, you might even know things like one ninth is 0.1 recurring or one eighth is 0.125. But even if you don't know them, uh, we can work them out. Um, so let's start with doing something like five sixths. And Essentially this method relies on just the fact that a fraction is a division. So 5 divided by 6, right, that is 5 6. That's kind of where this, you know, what this division sign means. You see, it is a fraction. If you think about the division sign, it's, it's a line and it's got two spaces, top and bottom, to be replaced with the numbers. So on the top we can replace it with the 5, and on the bottom we replace it with the 6. And that's what division is. So let's do it as a long division. Let's do 5 divided by 6. Now this looks a bit strange because obviously I try and do 5 divided by 6 and I get 0 remainder 5. Not very helpful. But if we extend uh, the 5 to be 5.0000, we can go on as long as we want, then we can do this. So I go 6 into 5, that's 0, and I've got 6 left over which we carry here. Now sorry, 5 left over, the whole 5 from there that's left over. So now 6 is into, f into 50, or 6 times um, 8 is 48, so that's 8, and I've got 2 left over, 6 is into 20, go 3 times, 3 times 6 is 18, and I've got 2 left over, 6 is into 20, go 3, and I've got 2 left over, ah, and now this is just going to keep repeating, isn't it? I'm going to get another 3, another 2, I'm going to get another 3, another 2, etc. So what we've ended up here is uh, the answer 0.83 recurring. And remember the dot over the 3 just means that that, will, that 3 will repeat uh, over and over again. So let's do another one, 13 over 8, that's 13 divided by 8. I'm going to need some zeros to do the fractional part. Uh, now 8 into 13 go once, and I've got 5 left over. 8 into 50 goes 6 times with 2 left over. 8 into 20 you go twice with 4 left over, and 8 into 40 this time go 5 times exactly, so I don't need the zeros beyond here. And 13 over 8, that is a nice exact fraction, one point, sorry, uh, you know, exact in decimal form, 1.625, I don't need any recurring here. Here's another one, a 7th, quite an awkward uh, number, uh, but we'll do it the same way. 7s into 1 go no times, and then into 10. Well, we've got once, and that goes three times. Sevens into thirty, that's four times with two left over. Sevens into twenty, uh, that's again two with six left over. Sevens into sixty, uh, eight sevens are fifty-six, so that's eight with four left over. Seven times five is thirty-five, so five with five left over. Sevens into fifty go. Um, uh, 7 times with 1 left over, 7 into 10, go once with 3 left over. And at this point, we notice, as soon as we've got the same number appearing here again, that I've got, I've got this, the pattern starting to repeat again. So if it was 10 before, uh, and I've got 3 left over, uh, 10 before, 3 left over. So this is just going to have exactly the same thing happening again from here onwards. So uh, 1 seventh must be all of this and it will keep repeating, so 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7, 1, etc. Uh, so I could write that as 0 0.142857 recurring, and I'll put my dots at the extreme side here and that says that you know, that uh, whole piece there repeats over and over again.